Okay guys, hope you're doing well. In today's lecture, I'm going to explain that how you can make your page responsive uh, without creating these extra screens. Uh, although you have the option of these extra screens, you can create these extra screens and uh, you can make your um, style, you can make your page responsive. But in Type First uh, system, uh, it's not a good practice to create these screens. So I'm going to explain that how you can make responsive uh, your, your page responsive without using these extra screens. For example, you have a Figma design for the extra large screen like 1920 or 25 um, uh, 80. For example, you have uh, the design in Figma for that, and that design uh, definitely will not fit uh, in my 1020 screen. For example, in this uh, one, you uh, you can see that it, uh, this section is not looking good for 1020. But if you go for the 1440, then it's looking good. Or if you uh, further go for the 1920, then it's also looking good for 1921. But uh, when uh, it's come to um, the screen size of 1020, then you can see that it's a little bit weird. So how can you make it responsive without uh, going into the custom code or without getting uh, these extra screens how you can make it responsive for this one uh, I will show that uh, first of all you have uh, your webflow extension thin suite extension for the webflow you have to add this extension after adding this extension uh, just uh, add it here and then uh, from the extension setting just pin into your uh, browser and after browsing just uh, give a uh, refresh your uh, webflow account and after refreshing your webflow after installing this fin suite extension you have a fin suite extension appearing here so just click it here by clicking this fin suite extension uh, we have a different option so select the second one that is clank first after selecting this clank first uh, further select the third option that is food design generator in food design, you are seeing, uh, you are looking that uh, I already have some setting here. Uh, basically, I create different screen for 1024, and you can here uh, create uh, for the screens. But uh, it's the best option to create uh, create these screens. For example, one is for 1024, uh, other is for 1414, and other is 1920. So basically, uh, what we have to do, uh, basically, I want that on 1920, if uh, your one RAM is equal to 16 pixel, that is all okay, and that um, you all know that one RAM is equal to 16 pixel. But for 1440, I want to make my font smaller. So I basically describe that at 1440, take one RAM is equal to 12 pixel. So it's, instead of taking one RAM is equal to 16 pixel, at screen size of 1440, one RAM will be equal to 12 pixel. Same for 1024. At 1024, I explained that one RAM must be equal to 10 pixel. So uh, the text which is of 16 pixel at 1920 will be of 12 pixel for 1440 will be of 10 pixel for 1024. So in this way, I just shorten, I just smaller my text uh, for different screen sizes. Mm, for uh, 1920, it will be the 16 pixel for one RAM. Uh, for 1440, it will be further small for 12 pixels. And the same text will be at 10 pixel at 1024. So basically, I generate this fluid generator uh, and it automatically generates some code. So by uh, by using this uh, variation as per your requirement, after uh, then I um, just select this uh, stop scaling at maximum breakpoint, and then after I just remove these style tags. After doing all this, just copy this paste uh, from this one. Just copy it to clipboard, and uh, then. Uh, just go to your page style and uh, in my previous lecture I explained that how you can achieve this global style files in your client uh, how you can create a project using your client first styling so when you create a project using the client first styling you have a class with the global styles and by clicking this global styles uh, just open its code and after clear and you you can see the result in the in just in the preview mode so here after the style I'm just going to uh, paste these uh, four lines that I take from this fin suite extension and then I give a save and you can clearly see the change. For example, again, again, I'm going to remove these uh, lines so that you can see the result. So here, let's suppose, here, uh, let's suppose I remove these, save, and you can see it's too big. It's too big for 1020 uh, 10, 10, and you can see it's breaking in two, li uh, two lines about us. But again, uh, when, um, Again, when I just open this uh, code and copy and paste these different lines which I achieved from this fin suite extension here, I just copy it here and just save. And you can see again, uh, the, even this is at 1020 screen, it's looking good. It's looking almost as same as on 1920 screen. So it's looking as same. As on 1920 screen, and when you uh, just shift from 1020 screen, it's still okay for 1020 screen. So it's the magic of this code, uh, which I use uh, have with the help of fluid generator, and then with the help of uh, this fin straight extension. So basically, uh, you can achieve this one again uh, for one more time, so that you can uh, see it clearly. 
just uh, you can just hide this one save and you can see these are all about this uh, again it get disturbed but again uh, when on this one I um, double click on it I open it and then I applied these different lines which I get from the min suite fruit generator and then I give it a publish then you uh, I give it a save then you can see it's all okay for even for the 2020 screen so it's looking almost same as it is for 1920 screen so this is the uh, power of FinSuite uh, fruit generator you can simply uh, apply it to your project and enjoy the responsiveness uh, without um, getting so much uh, complexities which are getting in so much complexity so hope you like the concept hope you like the video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you